Hey, how's it going today, Capricorn? It's Robin here with Aries Fire Tarot coming at you today with the mid-month reading. Some guidance to wrap up the second half of December and actually the last couple weeks of 2018. So um, I actually have a new deck. I'll show it to you. I'll show you the box because it's pretty amazing. So this is the Tattoo Tarot Ink and Intuition deck. And I love... The artwork on this I'm a, I'm a fan of tattoos I have a few myself uh, like if you're inked let me know in the comments give me a shout like I love ink and like the way it matters in people's lives like it tells a story you know um, Johnny Depp said something about how his tattoos are the story of his life and I love that and I I love how ink is being like so mainstream now, but that's a separate story. Uh, you guys, so I'm doing a general reading. I could talk about tattoos forever. Um, general reading for the last half of December, for the last couple weeks of 2018. If this does not resonate with you, um, take what applies, you know, forget the rest. I'm gonna do a quick deck cut. If you want a personalized reading, shoot me an email at ariesfiretarot at gmail.com and we'll set you up. And what I do is I record a, a video and send you a private YouTube link. Nobody else has access to it but you. And then you can download it and keep it forever. Okay, so I feel like I just want to do one more shuffle here. And then we'll start doing your reading, Capricorn mid-month, December 2018. One more. Okay, all right, guys. Okay, so before I do this, I just hope everybody's doing great. Um, let me know in the comments or send me an email. Uh, some people don't like to comment publicly, right? But I respond to all social media, just so you know. Ooh, nice card to start your reading off, you guys. This is the star card, and um, like check out the artwork on here, um, how intense and, and how beautiful it is, and so much different from like a, a regular tarot deck. Um, so the star card, when you see this card, this is like, if you're trying to manifest something into your life, this is where the card where the caption is like in my mind, I'm seeing wish on a star. So if you're trying to manifest something, just keep doing your manifestations and your positive affirmations or whatever. And I've just been guided to shuffle this deck one more time. This doesn't usually happen. I actually have goosebumps as I said that out loud. So then I know that my spirit guides are saying, yeah, thanks for doing that, Robin. <clears throat> actually one more. So the star card definitely, um, Know that your wish could come true right now. Oh, jeez. You know, and everything happens for a reason. So even if it's, uh, even as I fumble these cards, it's for a reason. It's because my spirit guides, that's half a deck, I can't take it. Um, they want certain cards to appear. Um, so I have to listen to that. I never doubt that. I never doubt that the right cards are appearing for the right um, querent or audience. So the next card I have is a strength card. Not your typical strength card. I mean, you've got somebody uh, sort of beating up the lion, which I'm not a fan of, but um, usually the lion is walking beside somebody. Um, I'm providing strength, but in this card, the person is dominating the lion. So um, I guess what you can take from this is that you're you're stronger than any situation. And if you have had some sort of waning doubts about getting what it is that you're trying to manifest into your life, um, don't because it's coming, but it's coming at the speed of the universe's timing. The universe is here to serve you, but it's going to take its own sweet time in delivering. So um, keep using the positive affirmations. Like, 
And just have faith every single day. Um, write your goals out. Say your affirmations. And be strong about it. Like, you know, be positive. Like, today is the day this is going to happen. If it doesn't happen on that day, say it again tomorrow. Today's the day this is going to happen. So be strong. Like, be strong. Isn't it fun when I repeat myself? Beautiful. Okay. Ten of coins. You guys, okay, so this is the ultimate card of abundance, in my opinion. So when we see the Ten of Coins, this is um, this is like, on some cards, it's like a treasure chest, like overflowing with money. Um, but you can see here on this card, it's just got different forms of money and jewels and everything. So whatever you're wishing for, it's coming in with that 10 of coins. That's here to say you to say to you that your abundance is on its way, right? So just stay in faith. I can't say that often enough. Um here's the hermit card. So the hermit card is generally about somebody that needs to go and take a break for themselves and just sort of um collect themselves and do some soul searching yada 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 but here's the thing i'm getting from this card is that um whatever aspirations you have for be it romance a new job more money anything like that what i'm getting from this card is that you need to sort of be the hermit um and not talk about what you're trying to, what your goals are, what you're trying to establish for yourself, what you're trying to manifest. Um, yeah, that's just, I'm getting a message here. Like, don't broadcast what you want for some reason. You just need to keep that to yourself. And I, I really, I'm not getting any sort of measure of why you need to do that but all I'm getting is that you need to guard your goals right now and I I trust the cards when I read them for myself so um so the next card I pulled here is the four of cups so the four of cups is generally generally related to um having multiple opportunities but missing them so maybe, maybe the act of talking about your goals to somebody else might distract you from what you really want. Um, I find it really annoying when you tell somebody that you, you have this plan and that plan, and then they sort of weigh in with all their negative commentary about, well, you can't do that, you know, uh, that you'll never be successful, you'd be no good at that, and you're kind of like got the life sucked out of you by that commentary. So um, I think that's a really interesting um, follow-up card to the Hermit as to why maybe you just need to keep it to yourself until you start, sort of start hitting it, right? Um, because they might make you miss what's right in front of you, like those symbols from the universe that you need to see. Um, or somebody could deflate you to the point where you're like, oh yeah, you're right, you know, I could never do that. And then you won't see the opportunity there because you're so busy like being down on yourself. So, okay, yeah, that made sense. This is a great card, you guys. Um, just as a, a reminder, um, whatever you are trying to manifest into your life, uh, that you are, you have the power of a magician to be able to make anything happen in your life, right? So we've got we've got the star card, which is, you know, wish upon a star um, to bring something into your into your reality from your vortex. And then you've got the magician card. Um, and then the strength card and then the ten of coins card and you know these are all really positive cards and then you've got sort of a, a little tap on the shoulder from the universe to you know just watch who you talk to great cards like a, i'm really pleased with this reading for you guys 
Um, and then the next card you have is the Emperor. So the Emperor is like um, universal strength, right? Um, male power, authority, leadership, wealth, stability, perseverance, endurance, and realization. And yes, I did read from my companion book because this, the meanings are a little bit different on these cards than other decks that I have. Um, so I just need a little bit of help. Um, but like with the rest of these, these cards, this is really powerful to like the, the, the keyword that popped out here for me, for you guys is perseverance. And the second one is endurance, right? Like all of these keywords, wealth, stability, um, realization, like realization being to me, um, manifestation. So just don't give up. I'm going to pull one more card. Five of Wands. Oh my God, you guys, this is crazy. So the Five of Wands, this is the card, like when you see this, it's it's sort of a, a message from the universe that this is really not the time to divulge your idea or project to other people. And this came right underneath the Hermit when I was saying, when I interpreted this card, um, which is saying, like, keep it to yourself keep your plans confidential and then we get the five of wands like absolutely supporting the hermit saying this is not the best time to tell other people about it and i i really just get the impression that this because there's somebody out there that wants to shoot you down like and it could be because they're jealous of you and you don't need to deal with that because i think you've got a lot going on here um i think you're you're on the verge of anxiety that this is never going to happen for you, but you should watch a Jim Carrey um, video on manifestation where he says, you know, you ask the universe for something and then you have absolute faith that it's going to manifest and never give up on that. Just like, because it's like when you give up and your desire is almost manifested and you're like, oh, it's never going to happen. Like the universe is like, okay, so it's never going to happen, right? So you need to keep those thoughts like up, positive. Um, and it's all happening here with these cards. Like you've got some really good, uh, I want to use the word warning, but not as strong. Just a reminder that you need to just keep it close. And then once things start to unfold for you, and you feel a little bit more confident, then you can start telling other people. And then also, if people don't wanna support you, they can basically go screw themselves because um, whose life is it anyway? Like if somebody told me, hey, Robin, you shouldn't be reading tarot cards, I'd probably tell them like something strong um, because it's not their business. Um, it's mine and it's something I love to do, but enough about me. So you should kind of keep this sort of mentality for yourself. If this is something that you want to do, who gives a shit about what anybody else thinks unless they're willing to pay your rent this month or your mortgage or whatever. Um, basically, if somebody offers me their opinion on how I should be running my life, I ask them which one of my bills they'd like to pay this month and nobody ever offers. So kind of keep that in mind that this is your life to run any way you want to and the universe is supporting you. So just keep going and keep going strong. And like the more, keep going strong, right? The more um, energy you put into that belief, the more energy the universe will put into delivering it to you. So I'm so pumped about this reading, you guys. Yay, I'm so happy for you guys. Um, let me know how this turns out for you. Um, yeah, give me a like or give me a shout out in the comments. Definitely subscribe to my channel so you can stay tuned for my next readings. Um, and I'll wrap it up there for you guys. Capricorn, enjoy the rest of 2018. Peace, love you guys, bye.